Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a lot update and talking about some future projects, so stay tuned. So, guys, before we get into the heart of this video, I want to take a moment to thank everybody for the great success on my last video, which was the Dino Day at Rockwood Park with the old Mopar. Lots of discussion, people talking about different things such as horsepower loss between the crank and rear wheel horsepower and you know fuel and air and compression ratios and all this stuff and I, I get all of that and it's fun to sit there and talk about why things are the way they are. At the end of the day, I want you guys to know that I do understand that there is horsepower loss between the crank and the wheels, roughly about 20% with an automatic transmission. And so in reality, if we use that math, then my car should be putting out somewhere around 275 crank horsepower. So I get that, but I still feel like a small block Chrysler from everything that I read and knowing what I have into the motor, this thing should still be 325 to 350 horsepower at the crank, which puts me at about 280 rear wheel horsepower. Again, I would be satisfied with that. I'd be satisfied with 250. 218 just ain't cutting it. Anyways, there'll be more discussion about that. There'll be more talk about what we're going to do to try and increase that. Maybe carburetor, maybe intake. Who knows what Santa Claus has in store. Anyway, so thank you guys for the conversation. Thank you for all the tips and we will follow up with this. So having said that, let's get into this video. So guys, our first appointment of the morning was for an oil change and a motor vehicle inspection from one of my followers, Joel, who owns this 2000, I believe it's a 10 Ford Ranger. Now we sold this Ranger back to him, oh, probably three years ago now. And uh, ever since I started my YouTube channel, he has been a follower. He even bought a t-shirt from me. So I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to take a look at this truck because it is in really, really good shape. And I appreciate customers who look after their vehicles. So, so let's take a look at this Ranger. Anyways, Joel, thank you so much for coming back for your service and being such a great customer and supporting my channel. So guys, one of the things that I started watching on YouTube was a channel called Flying Wheels. And if you haven't heard of Flying Wheels, I'm gonna put their link right up here so you guys can head on over there and give him a subscribe because he's doing exactly the same thing I am. Although he's doing it a little bit differently in giving tips and tricks and different things he likes and doesn't like this and that. Some of the things that I've done on this channel but he did an episode a little while back that talked about some of the things that will make him successful as a car dealer. And well, I thought, why not jump on that bandwagon? It seems to be working for him. And I want to try it here to see if it's going to work for me. Now, one of the things that he says he does is not just getting your pictures up on different forms of social media, your website and different listings and stuff like that but is to take a camera very similar to what I'm using here, my GoPro, and do a thorough video for that particular vehicle. So what I have done, and I wanna share with you guys, is I have created a second YouTube channel, which is going to be dedicated solely to these vehicle videos. Now I'm not necessarily asking for you guys to head on over there and subscribe, but if you want to, Go ahead, it's old car auto sales and it's going to be videos strictly about the vehicles. So it's like a review, but it's an in-depth look at what we have on our lot. Each video is gonna feature a single vehicle. When that vehicle sells, we take the video down, we'll put another one up to replace it for a different vehicle. So that is how we are going to advertise these vehicles in just one more fashion. We're gonna do that YouTube channel, that way I can add the link right to the description on our website and then that way people will have more of a personal feel to being able to come in and check these cars out or do it right from the comfort of the living room. Who knows? 
somebody might see something that they really, really like. So I want to thank Flying Wheels for giving me that tip and I am going to be using it and I'm going to be tracking the number of people who tell me I saw the video. So it might be something that's going to help us sell a few more vehicles and I hope it just creates a little bit more of a personal feel to everyone who's interested. So you guys have heard me mention in the past that when a customer brings a vehicle in we have the option to put it on an online auction for other dealers to take a look at. Well that auction is also available if we have some older units on the lot that we want to try and see if there's any other dealers out there who want to take advantage. We can do that as well. So we currently have three vehicles on that auction and they are about ready to sell here at three o'clock local time on this Monday. The three vehicles that we have up on the auction are the 2012 Dodge Journey RT, the 2015 Kia Sorento, as well as this 2017 Chevy Spark. Now the Spark out of all three really is about the only one that seems to be getting a lot of attention from other dealers. So we should know very shortly whether or not that one is sold. Now, because we pay cash for all of our vehicles, we're not paying interest charges or interest fees. All we're doing is we're trying to free up some cash so that we can go ahead and buy something that might sell a little bit quicker. The Journey and the Sorento, we thought for sure that they would sell a little bit quicker, but unfortunately, there they sit. So having said that, we're gonna go in and check on the auction and see how they're doing, but as far as this video goes, we are coming to an end. Well guys, the auction has ended on the Chevy Spark and we have sold it. So in a case like this, basically what happens is I've taken all the uh, decals off of it that we had with the mileage in the year and stuff like that. We'll take all that stuff off and uh, I've got the uh, license plates surrendered back to service New Brunswick and we're just gonna wait now for payment and the transport truck to come get it. So you're probably wondering how I made out. Well. I probably made about 175 bucks. Like <laughs> that's about all I made on this uh, from the time that we bought it, brought it in, reconditioned it, and got it ready for the lot. So, uh, if we can do that on what we call a dog, a vehicle that just sits around for a long time, breaking even is a good day. Making a few bucks is even better. It's when you sell a car that you have to let go and lose several hundred dollars. Well, sometimes thousands is uh, puts an awful sour taste in your mouth. But nevertheless. We come ahead by a little bit on this car, we'll free that money up and put it to you somewhere else. As of the time you guys are watching this, it'll be Saturday and the next Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be coming up on my channel. If you are not subscribed to me already, I encourage you to hit that red subscribe button and bell notification. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video and you can keep up to date with Old Car Auto Guy. The other half of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is Straight Six Fan. His link is the second one. In the description box below if you're not yet subscribed to him i encourage you once again to head on over to his channel and hit that subscribe button so that you can see when we go live on thursday evenings the show starts at seven o'clock central eight eastern and nine local time you're not going to want to miss out we talk a lot about cars it's also a support stream so if you are new to the uh, youtube world and you're trying to grow your automotive channel stop by there's lots of us there who want to find new channels as always, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.